Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like a cherry. Come and take a like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now that you're part of the Lips family, there's some things that we want for you to do. Those things are comment, comment, comment like you share and don't for the team. Comment, like, and share, and don't for the team. Comment, like, and share, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, check this out, y'all. We're going to pray, and then we're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? Before we get started, it's been a while. So let me make sure I give it to you extra good for him. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out. Because y'all, we finna get to eating. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today we ran over to Bombay Gardens, you guys. The, over here we have broccoli and beef, beef and broccoli. But I added mushrooms, I added some carrots, it's your meat. And over here you guys, we have got some pork, shrimp, and chicken, egg for young. We got a gravy hit to the side, y'all are so hungry. We got the teriyaki sauce, the lemon pepper, we've got the crushed red pepper, the lips hot sauce. Y'all, I have got some Soy sauce over here, and we got the pink salt. And then, you guys, we have the jalapeno slithers, because I told y'all they're really, really big in the grocery store. So we're going to go ahead and put up some of them over here, because we know we're going to need them, right? We know we're going to need them. I'm going to put them over here to the side, y'all. Is that going to be all right with y'all? I hope so. Let me put me a few more. Since I'm at it. Okay, you guys, let's get to going. I want this. Oh, y'all don't know what I want. Let me put me a little pink salt on here, y'all, because I know I'm going to need some. And we're going to get that out of the way. I've got some teriyaki sauce over here. I'm going to try on this um, beef broccoli. It's got mushrooms, baby. Here you go, y'all. There your first bite. There you go. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, it's good. I may not need a teriyaki on that. Mmm. Mmm. Now, it was young. Mmm. Y'all, it come with a gravy. <clears throat> that jalapeno is up in my throat. It come with a gravy, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. I love it was young. I love it. Woo. Well, that's the first bite of it. See? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all, it's good. Now, you guys, if you're young, mmm, it's generally served over rice. But I've told you guys before, I cannot eat rice without putting no sugar on it. I can't do it. I ain't gonna do it. So I don't eat the rice with any of Chinese food, really. I can, but I don't have to. I don't eat no rice. Mmm. You guys are good. It's got pork. I ain't gonna say it. Y'all has got pork, chicken, and shrimp in it. And the apple young. Mmm. So how have you guys been doing? How you, let me put some teriyaki sauce on here first, y'all. Mm-hmm. Put a little teriyaki sauce on here. 
Mmm. They don't need it, but it's good. So how you guys doing? It has been a whole while since I've seen you guys. I miss you guys so, 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 so much. Y'all really are doing. Y'all ain't know what to do. I was about to go crazy. Because, you know, mm, y'all, sometimes life can be so unkind. It really can. It really can. Mm. But God is able. And we keep pushing ahead. We keep pushing ahead. We have faith. Mm -mm -mm. And we know if God brought us to it, he bringing us through it. <laughs> hey! He already set a way for us to get through it, y'all. You guys, you know, I have a family member myself that, you know, is very, very under the weather. But out of the woods. You guys know. Y'all help me pray. And... And then hubby just going through the death. You know, grandmothers are special. They are. Grandmothers normally treat you a whole lot better than they treat their own children. Then they did treat their children when, you know what I'm saying? For real. Again, you guys, I'd like to know my husband, to know him. You guys, he's a great guy. Like, my husband is the type of person that automatically sees the good in everybody and everything. He does. He doesn't have expectations of people. You know, he is the most, um, he's not picky. You know, he's just content and happy with life. He is. He really, really is. And to see him, you know, down and not at his best, it's hurtful. It is, because there's nothing that you can do, you know. But I did know, I did know from losing both my own parents, that all you can really do is support. You know, you listen, you be a good ear. You have to be a good ear when people are grieving. You have to be a darn good ear. Because a lot of times it goes in to feel better. There's some things they have to process and get out, you know. But we thank you guys so, so much for all your prayers. For all your kind, uplifting words. Even the fear y'all got on my tail. And said, lips, come on back here. <laughs> I laughed. I did. I laughed. I appreciate you guys so much. There's just so much going on right now. But like I said, God is able. So, enough about all that. Once again, thanks for each and every one of you guys. I pray that sent a nice message. You know, even some of you cast out, you know, for, you know, to help out on food and anything that was needed, you know, for the funeral preparations and things. And I want to thank you guys so, so much. I really, really do. And y'all, every young is busting. It's really busting. Mm-hmm. This beef and broccoli is good. But I wish I hadn't put a carrot in. I'm digging around now, y'all. <laughs> I am. <sighs> mm. Did you guys see today they did the Kobe Bryant where was on BET? And of course, we want to pray and send up prayers and everything. For all families that were involved. But today, BET did a special on Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Mm -hmm. It was really, really nice. It really was. Beyonce sang. 
Um, Christina Aguilera sang. Mm-hmm. Who else? Alicia Keys. I think she played Beethoven or something. Yeah. That was the saddest thing. It was. It was so touching the way that, you know, I have always been a person that felt like, you know, man, you just never know who's watching you. You never know what child is out there that is looking up to you. And you guys say he was just um, hard working, you know, regular guy. And now, will forever and ever and ever and ever, ever be remembered. The Black Mamba. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was fantastic. I watched the whole thing, y'all. The whole thing. I did. I watched every minute of it. I really, really did. The white spoke. And she did really well. She held up really, 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 really well. She did. Mm-hmm. She really did. I was surprised, too. I won. <clears throat> and there was some parts in her speech, you know, where you can say um, it was getting kind of overwhelming for her. But she made it through it. She made it through it. And her speech is kind of long, too, so, you know, she's strong. Mm. But I would imagine that you have to be, you know, when you got three other children that lost their father and also their sister, big or little sister. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is a tragedy. It is. But it was good to see the world, and you know, show up and show that he was truly loved. There were so many people there. There were so many people there. And then, y'all, there was a coach, the women's basketball coach from UConn. Uh, he, he spoke in the um, tribute, the ceremony for Kobe and him today, too. And y'all, he had the most touching speech. It was so touching. It was. Now, he highlighted some things that while he had everybody's attention, you know, he wasn't still there the same. One of those things being, he touched on about, you know, your team, about your family being your team. It's like, that's your number one team. You know, you got to... Be a part of that team first. And that is so important, you guys. The people that are at home with you, your team, you know, the people that you don't have to, you may have to worry about them treating you right, but you ain't got the question, do they love you? You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember some lips hot sauce here now. And if you would like your bottle, it's in the description box way up at the top. So that you will not miss it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Bomb. But really, y'all, the way this is cooked, you know, I added a little salt earlier. But really, too, man, it don't need no extra season. It really don't. It don't need nothing on it. It's just bomb. It comes from this place called Bombay Garden. They're really, really good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Really, really good. So, but anyway, y'all, through it all, I took, obviously, Kobe is great. Yes, he's a great person, great man, great father, husband, all of that. But, y'all, what I took from it mostly, like I said, I listened to the coach a lot more. I listened to Michael Jackson. I mean, Michael Jordan, my bad, y'all. I listen to Michael Jordan the most. You know what I'm saying? They, they their speeches were to me um, was I don't know. It, it felt more heartfelt, or more even with the wife to me. Their <clears throat> you know what they talked about was more of a chance. Um, 
to educate people and tell people, you know, now that your loved ones is here, look at what has happened to one of our elite. You know, relax on to your loved ones, y'all. Which is very unique in what Hubby's family and my family, our family, what we're going through at this time. You know, two weeks ago, it was me and my family. And we did not know, you know, what the turnout was going to be. Mm. And then two weeks later, death comes in his family. Plus, y'all, I was so stressed trying to support him. Because I know how it is, y'all, I do. I haven't been long. A couple years ago, like I said, lost both my parents in six months. I know the hurt. I know the process. I know what you go through. So that's what I did. I took care of my husband best I could. I made sure he was okay. He knew that I was here for him. And you guys were here for him. I don't know. At one time, y'all, he was in the comments. He told me that some of you guys had said some things so sweet that he was going to respond to you guys in the comments. I thank you guys so, so much for that. Because I'm sure at that time, you know, his mind... The only other thing that he could think about to try to soothe his mind was going to see the prayers and the love from the Legion, from you guys. You guys, that's simply amazing. It is it's simply amazing. It is. It's amazing I'm thankful. I really am. Mm. Yeah, I can tell you this much. The food. Definitely. It's not disappointing. Y'all, this is good. Y'all, if I seem a little off, I'm sorry. You know, I tell you, I never want to come over here at any time, no matter what's going on in my life. I don't want to come on here, y'all, and, like, potentially ruin your day. I never want to do that. I want to come here and, you know, be uplifting and let you know I love you. And I thank you for you loving me and my family. You know, don't nobody want me to get on here and be all sad and all that. So, y'all, when you, you know, you, when you love someone so, so, so much that you would really put their well-being ahead of your own, and to see them hurting, and there's nothing you can do, but you understand the pain that they're in. Y'all, I had to be there for my husband. I do. I know you, I, and I know you guys understand. I know you guys understand. So, y'all, I did my best. The D ladies, I did my best. I really, really did. I really, really did. That thing, that, that piece, that had a, a lot of them little peas stuck together. They had little peas in it. I did my best, these ladies. But then, y'all, he went to work today. I had an awful day at work. Oh. You know, because he's been out work since the middle of the last week sometime. So I want to say it just happened. Tuesday or Wednesday. No, no, I think Tuesday. I think it happened Tuesday. And no, I don't know, y'all. Anyway, this was his first day back to work in three or four days. Just put it like that. Let's just say it like that. This was his first day back to work in three or four days. And I wanted his day to be great. You know, I text him, you know, called him, checked on him and things and stuff, showed him a little humor. I can make him laugh, okay, nobody else can make him laugh. I can. Although he didn't laugh today, but I know in his heart he knew, you know, that I was trying to make sure he was okay. I really was. Woo! Well, now y'all, it's time for us to get back to business.
They're eating this food. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Believe it or not, y'all. Two days I've been gone. Like open the morning. The next morning. I was so mixed up. I knew I wouldn't come and see y'all, honey. Y'all looked up and hadn't eaten two days. <laughs> For real, y'all. I had to let one whole day went by. And then the second day, it had to went by, but about two o'clock in the morning, hubby asked me, he said, he said, baby, have you ate today? I was just thinking about it. I said, baby, I ain't ate in two days. <laughs> Y'all, I just forgot to eat. But it also cost you a great meal. It did. Because yesterday, y'all, even though I was going to record, I was going to get up early this morning and record your video uh, for you. And I had this great meal, y'all. I did. But, y'all, it was so busting. It was so busting. Like I said, I had eight in two days. And, baby, I attacked that food, honey. And believe it or not, I never even put it up and put it in the refrigerator, y'all. I ate the whole pot of both of them. I did. I was up all night long just eating. It was so good. And y'all know, I'm used to sitting up here eating big meals. Mm, I was hungry as a hostage. <laughs> y'all, I was hungry as a hostage. Oh. Y'all, this is good. Like I said, this is beef and broccoli. But I added mushrooms. And I added carrots. But I wish I hadn't, I wish I hadn't added the carrots, though. It doesn't add anything to it. Mm-mm. I don't really care for that. But it's busting. Beef and broccoli. Like I said, it's normally served with rice as well. But me, y'all, your boy, I ain't eating no rice. I can't put no sugar on it. Period! I ain't eating no rice. I can't put no sugar on it. And I don't like, mm, you know, the Chinese to be sweet. Unless it's something that's supposed to be sweet, like sweet and sour. You know, something like that. But that's your food. I don't want that food to be sweet. Mm-mm. I don't. So I don't never eat the rice. Well, I do. Let me take it back. I do eat the rice sometimes. But, it's, you know, it's hit or miss. I'm mostly going to miss because I really don't like rice when I don't put sugar in it. I just don't. <clears throat> Most of the time, when I eat Chinese, I generally get the noodles, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to the rice. That's how I do it. Anyway, y'all. Hold on. <clears throat> I love y'all that last bite was good. Did I even try to teriyaki on this stuff over here? I think I picked that bottle up one time, at least I know. Then, uh, oh, excuse me. I think I did, y'all. I don't know. Let me say. Mm. Uh huh. I did. Because I remember that taste. I did. Mm, 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 mm. So, here we go. I just came in down for one because I was hungry. And if I ain't eating for you, it look like I forget to eat. <laughs> I do. So anyway, y'all, I've been going to go and get up out of here. If you've never tried beef and broccoli, as common as it is, if you've never tried it, go get it some and try it out. The egg, the egg bouillon is delish. Like I said, mine has pork, shrimp, and chicken in it. Do this. It is. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all can't get up out of here. It's good. It's really good. Mmm. You know what? I don't add no lot of nothing to it. It's gotta be good. Cause you know my food don't taste good. I'm gonna make it taste like I want to say. I am. I'm going to make it taste like I want to taste. 
so I can eat it up and enjoy it. Mmm. Mmm. Just good. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's good. So anyway, mm. y'all, every time I get ready to say, I'm going to go. That food is tasting good to me again. Anyway, y'all, I am going to go, y'all. Mm. I just want to make sure that once again, I say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, we appreciate you guys so much. We really do. Um, but I did my best. I took care of my hubby. Like I was supposed to, y'all. But I appreciate you guys praying and sending all the nice thoughts and condolences and things to him. You guys, he did go in the comments for your strength and for, you know, you to strengthen him. And I was so, so, so glad that you guys had done so. Because I hadn't been in the comments in days. You know, trying to support him. I, I just kept my attention focused on what I needed to do. I really, really did. I love you guys so, so much. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow. We're going to see you tomorrow with another video. I think I know what I'm going to eat tomorrow, y'all. I do know what I'm eat tomorrow. It's going to be good. So anyway, tomorrow, you guys, I'm hoping everything is a little bit better. You know, things get better in this particular case day by day. Uh, they really do. At least you don't think about them as much as the days go by. You know, it seems to get a little lighter for you. So we're going to pray for time. We're going to pray for healing. God has it all. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to see you guys next time. Oh, excuse me. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I love each and every one of you guys, and I miss you so, 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 so much. I appreciate you guys being here. So I'm my new legion. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A lot of you guys have joined since I haven't been here in the last couple of days. And I love you so much for it. You could have chose to hit that button for anybody else in the world. But you chose to hit it and be here with us. And we love you for it. So I'm my existing legion. You know what's up. Hey, you know what's up. I love you. I love you guys so, so much. Now, y'all, we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. You guys, thank you so much once again. My heart won't let me leave one more time without saying we appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for all your kind words and your prayers for my family and my husband's family as well during this time. We appreciate you guys. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that when obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. You all right? Huh? Um... It's a bunch of beef left right there. It was a whole, oh, I saw her extra beef. I would never do that again. <laughs> that is so much beef. Ain't that, ain't that what the Arby's commercial say? We have the meat. <laughs> Baby, it was so much of that beef in there. I started pushing it, you know, to the front. And them carrots in there was awful. All right. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm. <laughs> Bye-bye, y'all.